AOC for the win. AOC for the win. I'm very proud. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button and click that bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. I really appreciate if you do subscribe, you click the bell. Y'all, I got my haircut today. Y'all liking it? Single, ready to mangle. You know, you know. All right, y'all. <laughs> Y'all know I ask icebreaker questions. So this icebreaker question is, what do you splurge your money on? I want you guys to watch this clip of AOC doing Texas Proud. Mind you, she's a congresswoman of New York. Don't forget that. And I'll come back with some more. So big with that support. This is not just an issue for Texans. This is an issue for our entire country. We need to make sure that we make short and long-term policy decisions so that this kind of devastation, preventable devastation, never happens again. Disasters don't strike everyone equally. When you already have so many families in the state and across the country that are on the brink, when you have a disaster like this, it can just set people back for years, not just for days. You know, we really need to make sure that we're getting food So I also want to give props to the other politicians, the local politicians that help uh, AOC. These local politicians are Texans. Um, Sylvia Garcia, Al Green and Sheila Jackson. You guys are also the MVPs. You guys should be in the seat of Ted Cruz because this man is still continuously blaming his daughters. This man is continuously trying to say he's a good dad. This man is going on Hannity and Hannity just sitting there like and also a Neanderthal just making it okay that uh, a person that represents Texas, a senator that represents Texas can go overseas on a trip with his kids and leave millions of people without power and leave millions of people without food and water and without electricity in the cold. And we're, they're having to do a science experiment on how to melt water and boil water properly in order to bathe, in order to drink, in order to stay dehydrated. And so there's no excuse. And then you have Cokehead Don Jr. coming on a social media talking about Oh, Ted Cruz is for the federal government. The, this is the governor's job. Cruz a little bit. I see the news going out there right now. Uh, they're trying to you know, cancel him. He took a family vacation. Now, obviously, we understand sometimes you know, the optics of that right now isn't ideal. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, he's a senator. He doesn't manage crises in states. That's a governor's job. He's a federal employee. They mostly vote on things. So, you know, I'm not going to jump on this bandwagon of trying to cancel the guy uh, for taking his kids on a vacation. Again, maybe it's not the ideal time. Uh, quite certainly it's not. But, like, give me a break. That they're spending more time focusing on this than they are you know, governors just flagrantly disregarding their executive orders, shutting down states, etc., shows you how ridiculous things are. Now, if I were a Trump, which I am, uh, you know, I'd come up with a nickname for something like this, like maybe, I don't know, Cancun Cruise. It's funny, okay? But like, honestly, I can't get on this bandwagon trying to cancel the guy. It's totally ridiculous. It's absolutely absurd. They should focus on the things that matter. They should focus on people in power who could actually affect change in a crisis, not people who work and legislate from D.C. Doesn't make sense. It's a double standard we'll all ha always have to live up to. But let's be real. I'm happy to call out someone, even the people on our side, if they screw up. But honestly, in my opinion, this is not one of those times. No, it's not just the governor's job. It's Senator Ted Cruz's job. He's supposed to do this. You see what I mean? It isn't about whose job it is. It's about leadership. And 
Ted Cruz does not have leadership at all whatsoever. And I want you guys to remember this in 2024 when he tries to run again for president. Do not vote for him. I want you guys to remember this when he loses the presidency in 2024, when he tries to get reelected as senator in 2025. Do not vote for him. And I hope Texans do remember this. And I'm sure they will because, baby, that's millions of people without uh, power, without the situation. And I'm tired of conservatives using these right wing talking points saying that, well, Oh, it's it's not climate change. It's something else. There's something else going on. They didn't do their job right in Texas. And and it's just it's just crazy, dude. It's just crazy. People really don't give a damn about you. They really don't. Everybody politically want to just care about themselves and their money. And I just want to give my props up to AOC. I want to give my props up to Representative Cecilia Garcia, Al Green and Sheila Jackson. There's a whole um Report on Esquire.com. I'm going to link it in the description below if you want to read it. And I, I'm proud of them and y'all are real MVPs. Originally, Heidi wanted to marry a different fella. She wanted Herbert Spinecki. Yeah, he was into football. Herbert was beautiful. I mean, he was just always very open and sensuous with me, you know? Like on the weekend, he'd bring fruit and lay by the fire with me and tell me I looked like a French model. What? Why'd you even tell him that? Yeah, he's still a really close friend, the Spinacki. <laughs> I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. He's in the kitchen right now. Wait, he's here? Mm-hmm. Is he? Mm-hmm. What? does this mean? Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. At least I know she's mine. <coughs> I don't want to ask who the baby daddy. I know it's him. Anyways, y'all, let me know. If, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell. And don't forget to answer my icebreaker question, which you splurge your money on. So you'll be the first to know when I upload. Y'all like my haircut. Y'all like it. Deuces. Yay.